If you become aware of the pictures you're creating and how you're scaring yourself, if that picture's a bit scary, your heart's going to race, you'll breathe shallow, you'll, you'll get yourself into a, a nervous state. Mm. So, if your brain tells your arm things, what's going on in your brain? When you wake up in the morning, are you saying, yay, I'm going to be fabulous today? Or are you going, oh, what a shit day this is going to be? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sort that out, and this is too hard, and oh my god. So, um, do, you, do you say strong and powerful things to yourself all the time, Pam? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how stupid I am. Why did I go in that meeting and say that? Being right, unfortunately, whilst I know that you are always right, <laughs> they might not agree with you. So put a smile on your face, free legal drugs as soon as you smile. <laughs> and also, if you're on public transport, you're likely to get a seat to yourself. So it's <laughs> about distractions and about habits and about the things we do that just use up time, but we feel really busy while we're doing them, so that's all right. And here's an example. What I plan to do when I get back from work is take some exercise, have a nice shower, crack on with some books, some extra work, some learning, some CPD stuff. And what I actually end up doing? Well, I stuff my face. I've got a face for that, honestly. Here's another example. Here's me. Here's my life goals. Yay! But I fall into the internet trap. <laughs> We all have negative habits and daily challenges that sap our energy, but if your business relies on people, they're going to need a boost from time to time to raise that energy back up again. My keynotes and my workshops are interactive, teaching practical techniques so that people know how to feel good even on a bad day. For Nottingham City Homes, that led to an international award for reducing stress in the workplace. Call me now to boost your people and boost your business.